So this is the UKC paperwork, the original paperwork uh, for a dog that I own named Champ. I used to call him my Champ Boon Koo. So as you see here, it says 2012, which is about 10 years ago. They still called it the American Pit Bull. And remember, the AKC stopped and realistically never allowed the Pit Bull to be registered. They call it American Staffordshire Terrier. That's what they called it. So when we talk about the American Bully and it being a defined breed, this was from 10 years ago and places of prestige, if you would, still, and I repeat, they still were calling it the pit bull. And just recently, and I don't know the exact date to be clear, just recently they basically started recognizing, hey, an American bully. I don't have to go through the registration and read and do all the updated stuff, but I wanted to show you guys, this is what you're up against right here. And what I mean specifically when people say, hey, what's your bloodline? Listen, it takes a while to build a bloodline. We've done videos on that. They're, they're, all the bloodlines that built the bully were based on what? They were based on pit bulls. And then dogs that were unidentifiable. So let's look at this dog. Everybody knows who Samurai Paco was. Shout out to Suarez Bulls. But Suarez didn't produce them. He got this from another guy. We got Razors, our Blue Edge, Peaches and Cream. Some of you guys will know who that dog is. Low Jack, Remy Martin. We all know who that dog is. And Gina Jules. That's in this dog's pedigree. So he said, there's no American bullies. They know there's American bullies in here. And it was still called a pit bull at the time because it was unidentifiable. Here we are 10 years later, if not 20 years, depending on where you started in this thing, and the dog still can't be recognized. You know that it's a bigger dog and I hate the question. Now mind you, I love pit bulls. Love them, I bred them, I've had them for years. But American bully is not a pit bull. The difference is two miles, two feet, depending on what kind of bully you have. A pit bull can go and go and go and go and go. And it's tenacious. It's driven like a, a mad person and not a mad person in a bad way. We get confused. It's a dog that knows who it is. Its confidence is on 10. American bullies ain't that confident all the time. And true pit bulls, they'll, they'll walk through a door if they've got to because they're that confident. They're that sure of themselves. The point of this video, as I did in another video, is to highlight and educate the fact that we've got to do better. Let's, and, and so my job is to show you the facts. Here are the facts. Here's what you're up against. So stay tuned because in the next video, one of the videos within the next 72 hours to be clear, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what to look for in your American Bully, how to build out a program that's successful, what potentially traits to, to look for, why health is very important. I did a video where I talked about uh, all of my females, not my female, not all of them, but we've got quite a few dogs here. And I'm going to write all their names on the board and tell you that their dads are dead. Nobody made it past five. And there are XL dads and there are pocket dads. That's a problem. Why is health not the number one concern versus the color of a dog? Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching.